New legislation comes into effect today that significantly restricts the sale of vapes and vaping products. The laws are designed to reduce the high rates of vaping, especially in younger people. To understand more about these changes, we're joined by Penny Timms from the specialist reporting team. Hi Penny, so what exactly changes from today? Ruby, as of today, there's been quite a few changes. So right now, it's now illegal to sell a vape from anywhere except for a pharmacy. Now, people buying vapes also need to have a prescription. What is actually happening at the moment is that these vapes are basically going into this therapeutic setting. So that's why the move has been made to take them out of tobacconists from vape stores and the like. So essentially we've seen um, quite the prolification of these vapes that have been able to be sold almost um, openly on a black market within these stores. And it's been these disposable vapes have been the really significant problem. So as of today, it's going to make it a lot harder to get those vapes. Uh, it's essentially making sure that the any vapes that are available for sale will have plain packaging and also gone are going to be these array of flavours that we've seen. So as of now, they will be restricted to flavours of mint, tobacco and menthol. So that's going to be quite a big change from the ones that have been marketed. You know, you've had a lot of sort of um, candy flavoured uh, different vapes out there. So those are done and dusted. They're no longer legal to sell. There will be a bit of an amnesty for the next few months while people can hand in their vapes. Uh, and so, but it will certainly still be illegal to, to sell any of those products. My understanding is that, you know, there have been legal changes in this space not so long ago. It has been illegal to sell vapes. They're still, by all accounts, very accessible. Do we know whether these changes are going to make a big difference? That's right. This has been one of the major issues. So it's been a pretty open secret that you can go into a lot of different stores right across the country and buy these vapes that are illegal. The reason they're illegal is that they do contain nicotine. You're not meant to be able to buy a vape containing nicotine unless you actually have a prescription. But that's exactly what's happened. And a lot of these disposable ones that we've been seeing contain high levels of nicotine, but they don't have any warnings about it. So we're seeing that younger people in particular are getting hooked to nicotine. It's really quite alarming. So as of today with these new laws, there's going to also be a few more changes to come that will give states and federal authorities more jurisdiction to enforce these laws. Now, one person who I did speak with um, was Sean White. Now, he is a former vape store worker. He was a bit upset with these new changes and said that he would have liked to have seen the government work with industry to help better educate people, especially users, about how to use these particular vapes that do contain nicotine. Here's a bit of what he had to say. With disposable vapes, the way that they're meant to be used is uh, you have like one or two drawers on it and then put it down and don't touch it for a few hours at a time. Because that nicotine content is so high, it's meant to sort of mimic, you know, you, you wouldn't be chain smoking on it or chain vaping on it. But because it's never been, people haven't been educated on how to use them properly because the black market has just been selling them and they don't care about that, they just want money. So there is a vape store worker and of course vape stores are now um, out of business. As of today, you can no longer have a vape store running only tobacconists.